Just two waiting. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. No cursing. Got it? Got it. Hey, everyone. It's Stacy here. Um, I'm here, too. Bill's here, too. This is going to be a first for us. Uh, we are trying a live video, uh, live streaming. Yeah. <laughs> a little, little nervous, but that's okay. It's just me, so it'll be what it'll be. Um, we are going to do... Kind of a modified version of a keto mummy dog. Um, Bill has been asking, he wants, he likes his hot dogs, but he likes to have the bread. And obviously, we're not doing bread, nope. <laughs> so we're trying to try something different. We haven't tried this before, so you know, we'll see how it goes, and uh, it'll either be a huge success or not at all. <laughs> Tommy says hey. So, hey, Tommy, how are you? Good to see you. He's hungry. He wants right, to eat. He's hungry. Okay, you can he's come. Hungry. He's probably as hungry as me. Because uh, Bill's, Bill's fasting today. So, yeah. All right. All right. So, well, there you go. Yes. He can't see with his glasses. Huh? Nope. Zombies eat flesh. Oh, goodness. Hey, Tommy. All right. So, we got Tommy here. Our life the keto way. Um, and I'm a play as game. <laughs> I'm a play <plagiarism>. game. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously Bill's the witty one, not me. No. So we figured we'll just wait for a few minutes for a few people to join. Um, if you haven't watched our videos in the past, um, Bill and I started keto back in December and both doing very well. Um, Still fat, but <laughs> less fat. Less fat. Uh, Bill went to the doctor last week and his numbers and that came back pretty good. Um, he's off his insulin, getting ready to go um, off some of the other medicines that he's been on uh, for the diabetes. So that's been fantastic. His doctor was super happy. I went to the doctor today. She was super, super happy. Um, all the girls in the doctor's office were like, whoa, is that you? Um, so that was kind of neat. Blood pressure is low back to normal like it used to be. So um, Less stress. <laughs> less stress. Um, more fun at work, um, reservation agent for the state parks here in Michigan um, for camping. Boy, that's a serious, serious business, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> I had Costco. no idea. And then Costco at night, um, that's super fun, uh, super active. So everything is going well. I should get my blood work up back tomorrow probably um, and see how that goes. So I think it'll go really well. She was very happy. I'm very happy. Life is good. So. We had a snow day here today. Um, we had an ice storm last night. I uh, couldn't get out, um, couldn't get the doors open to my car today. Mm. It was frozen, frozen shut, so I had to take Bill's car. But it was better anyway, because he's got an SUV. So I had four wheel traction, so it worked out pretty well. All right. Hey, so you got more than three people in Yeah, here. we got Keto Sista. How are ya? Um, yeah, I was very happy with the doctor's visit and she was, um, matter of fact, when I was there, I was 189 pounds <laughs> in, <laughs> in was April, of, uh, okay. April of last year. Um, so as soon as she walked in the door, she was all smiles. I've been going to her for about seven or eight years now, so we're pretty well acquainted. And she just had the biggest smile on my face and she goes, I was looking at the numbers and what are you doing? Of course, I didn't tell her I was doing keto. I just said, you know, I cut down uh, on the sugars. Um, That's what I said too. <laughs> cut down on the sugars, cut down on the processed foods, or well, cut them out actually, and just eating healthier. So um, she said, keep doing it, it's working. Um, so, but I'm getting old. I'm getting arthritis, I have arthritis in my, in my finger. It's not the nice finger though, um, from an injury <laughs> that I had. Hurts. <laughs> Show me how my finger hurts. <laughs> it, it, it's this finger here, so. Yeah. Um, so I have arthritis in my finger now, and I have arthritis in my toes. And I don't wait till you get older. It's, oh. It gets more fun. I have to actually get a pair of glasses that I can read my laptop with. <laughs> so not fun. So we've got a few more recipes that I want to try. Um, I found a cheesy. I like. I miss bread. Does anybody miss bread? Because I yes. totally do. Bill misses bread too. I miss um, like a hot dog. Thank you. You're a comfortable shirt. Or you talk. You're probably talking to Bill. You like his zombies eat flesh. Zombies eat flesh. <laughs> Like uh, 
a little bit of a play on Bill subway. Bill makes shirts. Yeah, he makes shirts, so he always does all these. Oh, so much stuff. better. Now I can see. Now you can see? I can read. <laughs> I had to get my hybrid bifocal glasses, yes, laptop. computer, laptop glasses that yeah. he wears so he and can see the computer. So. <laughs> they, these work perfect. I'm so glad. Yeah. All right. Well, we got a few people in here, so we'll go ahead and we'll get started. Um, I've kind of modified the recipe. Imagine that one. Um, pretty basic. It's it's very similar to the fathead recipe. However, um, not as many ingredients, so no uh, white wine vinegar. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a cup and a half of the mozzarella uh, cheese, and then we need to take two tablespoons of cream cheese. And I'm going to melt that, so I do apologize for some of the noises that you're going to hear. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get that started. So tell me some of the things that you guys um, like to eat. What are your favorites? Um, food. Food. I'm fasting right now, so I'm a little bit hungry. He's going to break his fast. What is it? Um, are, you, are you ready to break your fast? So yeah, you Michigan. Ready? Yeah, oh. At noon, I was ready. Uh, I usually do the 16-8 intermittent fasting, and yeah. uh, at noon would be my normal opening window of feeding time. And uh, today, just kind of, it's been a weird day. Um, yeah. So it's 4 o'clock Michigan time, and I'm kind of ready to eat, and we were talking, and I said, well, hey, why don't we just try that live stream thing? I don't even know if this is going to work Bill right. has great ideas, right? Yeah, so we, we figured we would try, like, I got some Polish here. And then a couple of regular hot dogs for Julia or Stacy. Um, and we figured we would try this. And it's either going to be a disaster or it's going to be good. Because right. that's how things work for us. They either work great or they work horribly. Or not at all. So uh, David, we'll so um, I actually was born here in Michigan, um, but moved when I was less than a year old to the suburbs of Chicago. Um, so that's where I grew up until I transferred with my job. Gosh, back in 2004, we transferred up here to um, East Lansing, Michigan. We've been in East Lansing, we've been in White Lake, in Holly, in Northville, and now we're settled here uh, in the Whitmore Lake area. Oh, it's sizzling. Every year I say, this is our last winter in Michigan, because I just, I don't like the snow, I don't like the shovel, I don't like to drive in it, and every year we're here. I like our house. I like our location. Yes. The kids' schools are, you know, they love their schools. Lauren goes to U of M, which is 15 minutes away. Uh, so she'll be home today, later today. Yep. Laundry and raid the cabinets and all that fun stuff. Mom was nice and I picked up her laundry the other day. I work in Ann Arbor like 10 minutes from where she goes to school where um, her dorm is at. And so I picked up her dirty laundry <laughs> hmm. so I could uh, come home and do it for her. So, all right, so we've got the mozzarella cheese and the cream cheese mixed in, and then I think it's a third cup. Uh, oh, I don't know. We, yeah, we, three we quarters kinda, of a cup of almond flour. We kinda, uh, <laughs> just a little bit. And then we do some salt, pepper, and of course we added garlic. Um, I did about a, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, and then a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic. So I'm just gonna mix that in there. I hope it seems, I hope it, uh, the time he says, you guys seem so normal. <laughs> We're not normal by any stretch of the means. I hope it ends up being something good. If nothing else, I'll just strip it off and eat the Polish. Right. <laughs> Rest comes to worst, you just break it off. When you get break this, bread. when you get this done and you're, and you're waiting for it to cook, because it cooks like 10, 15 minutes or something. Right. Go find a scratcher video. Uh, go find a scratcher to get, and then you could do a scratcher oh, video we that. live. So we buy our eggs from Costco. Imagine that. Yeah. Um, it's really scary that I get to shop after work. So when the store is closed and everybody's gone, I'm off of work. I get to go shopping. So we buy our eggs in bulk. Um, and Bill got me. I love this. It's so stupid, but I love it. It's like a. Um, just like an egg carton, because the big lock the big, and lock, yeah. The big square thing from Costco is awkward. And I dropped one whole thing of it, and so yeah. after that, they'll bought me these. <laughs> those are great. I think we had a three pack of those we bought. We did. Yeah. All right. So bear with me. It's gonna get a little loud in here for just a quick second. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and mix um, this up here. Part of the dry ingredient. 
Yeah. Dry. So I've got the flour, the salt, salt pepper, pepper, garlic, and egg. Um, and I'm going to mix that in with the mozzarella cheese and cream cheese. And my oh, yeah, fancy, fancy that. mixer that Bill bought me. I love the color orange. So when I saw that they had a, they call it tangerine. When I saw they had that tangerine, I was thinking, we got to get a new mixer. The mixer we were using was from our original wedding reception, uh, our engagement party, I think. Bridal shower. Bridal shower or whatever. Uh, but yeah, that was probably 25 years ago. I, and I, I have to say, I love it. It's a KitchenAid, and it's fantastic. Sweet. Um, so it, ex it ejects very easily, which is nice. All right. And I don't like to get my hands real dirty. They tell you to take it out and <laughs> put olive oil all over your hands and then like get in there. No, that's not happening. I still don't do that. Oh, I got it on my shirt. Whoops. Oops. Yuck. Yuck. So I'm not the cleanest. Uh, not, I shouldn't say cleanest. I'm a little <laughs> bit of a messy cook. That's funny. What? You think it's funny? So the um, what are these polishes that we got? Yeah, from I've got Costco. Some Polish. Um, and there's two little weenies. Two she little hot like dogs. The big hot dog. She doesn't like the polishes, so we're gonna do some for her as well. All right. I don't even know if it's gonna turn out, but we'll see. I don't know either. That's the fun part about live stream. You just don't even know what's gonna happen. It's just... So if it's a disaster, you've seen it live. Yeah. That it's might make it even more fun though. <laughs> Our life the keto way says the double cheeseburger with bacon and mayo and extra oh the extra pickles right up my alley. Not mayo on a burger, but no, I, yeah, I can um, eat a burger. Load it up. Everything else sounds pretty good. I actually saw a cheesy cheeseburger casserole thing. See, the only part about a cheeseburger that I miss is when you have a cheeseburger, there's no real bun. I've seen like a 90 second bun you can make out of egg and a couple little things. Right. Maybe I'll get really desperate one day and I'll try it. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. All right, so this is all mixed. So this is supposed to make like six, right? Yeah. The, the... It's a little sticky, which the, the fat head dough is sticky as well. Yeah, it's all um, wet. It's very wet. So, and again, I don't want to get my hands all dirty. Hey, so, whatever works. I'm actually gonna, ooh, that's warm still. Ooh, I gotta touch it. It's warm. Oh, Lord, help now, me. is that the, uh, the gauge that you want? That's the thickness you want? Um. Cause this is adjustable, so. Yeah, Just you know, another Amazon purchase. Bill likes to shop on Amazon. Bill does like to shop. <laughs> when Stacy says she she needs something or she's missing something, like man, I need a good mixer or it just my mixer sucks. Magically appears. So yeah, I take the cue of jumping on Amazon and trying to find a solution, read the reviews, you know, see what see what's good out there. David, hey, tacos. It's we, time. Just, uh, we did tacos the other day. That's gonna be another one. So I made a um, cheese shell. It actually came out pretty good. Ticket time is here. They're another Michigan Six, scratcher. Oh yeah, they hey, the Michigan time. Lottery. Welcome. They're like uh, way more, way more into it than we are in terms of like buying stuff. They'll they'll get like thirty tickets or fifty tickets, and yeah, my budget. They is have like, so much energy. You guys should watch <laughs> You should watch their video. Yeah, I, I get like maybe six or four or two. Oh, that's you know, like you might need to. You might need to. Flatten it. Get my hands dirty. I don't want to get my no, hands dirty though. You don't want to get your hands dirty. David, I would have loved to win. What is it? How much did she win? Where's this? Where's this? David? $100,000 on a $20 scratch. Am I reading that right? Wait a minute. That's a million a things. Million. You know, she's Jesus, really bad with that. You do that in your videos. I know. Too. I'm <laughs> you say, win 300000 it's like, no, that says $3 million. <laughs> When you see six zeros, that's, uh, that's why I was like, wait a minute, let me see. After Holy cow. That would just be. That would be a, I'd be happy with like 100. You just won 50 the other night. So that I did. Cool. I did on the. $5 ticket. Super Bingo? Super Bingo. Super Bingo, yeah. Yep. So that was pretty fun. We went to the RV show um, oh. that they had out here. I feel like I need to do. Like flatter or yeah. harder? Uh, take the guards off and push it yeah. down. Yeah. 
That's why I asked you, is that the right, is that the right level that you want? This is set for pizza dough right now, and you want a little thinner than that, correct? Yeah. That's what I figured. I always do pizza dough, so I haven't done it. Oh, there okay. we go. I haven't done it and different. Give it a little push. That's what she said. <laughs> we are so not normal. All right. <laughs> no, maybe that is normal. The new normal. I don't know. All right. Just don't curse. Darn it. Really? Leave it to my husband. Oh, God, David, I love Costco. The scary thing is we used to um, go to Costco all the time. And now Bill goes to Costco so he can see me. Yeah. <laughs> Stay working for the DNR schedule and campsite stuff. Yeah. And then also uh, at Costco for part-time doing some help there. Little everything you do. Yeah. Everything from pushing a cart to running a register to straightening it up and you've even done floors. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually one of uh, three people at Costco that knows how to do the, um, we have a new floor system. So I'm one of the few that know how to do the actual floors um, in the new system. So let's so, see. So uh, an eight divide? Is that where um, you're, is that where you're no, that was a different one. We're going to do six. So strips. So strips. Are we doing like a mummy dog strip or are we just doing like a, a rectangular strip that we wrap around? That seems easier. No. <laughs> it looks like I've confused you, so I'm going to no, just keep my mouth shut. No, we're going to do... Oh, you're doing strips. We're going to do strips. All right. Let's see how it comes out. Sure. I have a feeling that's going to increase the difficulty level. I like Being it a wet dough and everything. Yeah, you know? it is. Should I knead it a little bit? Do you think? I don't know. Do you need to? Ah, uh, come on. Tom These are the jokes. jokes. These are the jokes. They're free. <laughs> what is that, Monster Inc? These are the jokes, kid. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, oh, I need my. Um, you need your. My gloves. So my. Your, I don't know what. Your mitt. baking glove? <laughs> My baking glove, yeah. Here's your baking glove. Uh, yeah, you don't want to burn your hand. You got a warm tray? I going? have a warm tray. So this is what I do for um, Back my right? fat heads. I put the tray in so that it's warm. So let's not burn ourselves on live stream camera. So oh, you have to cook it a little before... No. No. Okay, that's, that's fat, fat head. head. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I just eat the food. You do just eat the food. I really don't like to touch this, though. Shut up, though. You don't put anything on your hands? Or does it not make a difference? I don't know. Like a little a spray difference. of oil or something? But maybe it will. I don't know. I don't know. But I've been told. I know. Don't finish it. Oh, that works. Kind that worked better than I thought. Better than I thought. <laughs> so here's now the first just, one. Now let's just hope it cooks up and tastes good. Well, it's kind of similar to a fat head though, so maybe. Hopefully. Oh, it's sticky. Yeah, I think you should do like a spray of the avocado oil or something on your fingers, and then maybe, well, the parchment won't stick though. It won't stick to the parchment. No, it won't right? stick to the parchment. Do you want me to spray you? I'll spray you. Here, we were I'll watching one of the other videos. You ready? And um, the girl has her hands, all right, okay. All right, stop it. It's just a couple sprays. William. What is this? This See is what I have to deal with? avocado oil cooking spray. Yeah, I didn't need that much on my well, hands. Now you do. Now okay. you got it. But we were watching her, and she has her hands all wet and nasty and her mix and everything. And she goes, oh, just put a little bit of olive oil on your hands. Yeah, that happens. She picks up the jar yeah. of olive oil with all the... Fold out mix hand. Yeah, on her messy. hand. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so gross. Well, all right. Everybody cooks different. This is a definitely a messy one for us compared to what we normally would be. What kind of fun? No, it, it, we'll see. It, hey, I'm real excited to try them. <laughs> see how it turns out. Yeah, so we bought, when we were down in um, Indiana, we had a, a family brunch for
and um, Valerie, they're like, well, where did you get the ticket from? I said, I don't know. I got it from a family member. Wait, we might be. Oh, uh, I think we're still live stream. Are we still on, guys? I had to turn some alarm off that was on the phone. Ah, uh, thanks, Jennifer. I'm feeling kind of thin, too. Uh, Jen <laughs> said that she missed the beginning. Basically, we're making some uh, wrapped hot dogs yes. slash Polish. Uh, it's similar to a fathead kind of a dough. Yeah, like a fathead kind of dough. Because um, we're missing bread. <laughs> so we're going to try this and see what see we're doing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, when this is all done and over, I'll put whatever Stacy has mixed up into the description as to, it was super simple. It's like just a few things, salt, pepper, garlic, yeah. uh, flour, an egg, was there an egg or not? An egg, yep. yeah. Yeah, super, super, super We added simple. garlic because we like garlic. Because we like garlic. We'll see if... Um, Ooh, those are smaller, so yeah. <laughs> you can like wrap closer to the I'll end. put that there. There you go. So if okay. our littlest one, Julia, doesn't eat these, Lauren will be home <laughs> shortly, so I'm sure yeah. she'll eat them. All right. And this could be a total disaster, Jen. Um, we're just we're just trying it. <laughs> <laughs> then we figured we'd sit here and talk a little. Stacy went to the doctor today, and the doctor was real happy with her progress. She was really happy. Your weight and your BP, your blood pressure. And yeah, my blood pressure. Um, I, and, and I say this, and I probably shouldn't. So, for me, my blood pressure has been high over the last probably year. And when I say high, I'm saying like 119, 118 which over, is a normal 70, blood which is a normal blood pressure. But for me, I'm normally 102 over 60. Today, I was 104 over 66. So Those are good numbers. Yeah. Yeah. So we're waiting for the blood workup to come back and see what uh, happens with that. Now, remember, when you put this in the oven, I'm you got to use the mitt because that can is hot. Yeah. 380, Last 375. time I was doing my fathead pizzas, I forgot the mitt and touched it. What are you doing the temperature? 375? Um, 380. Because after um, this is over, I'll type in what you yeah. what mix together and what you've done. So we had it warming already, so it was ready to go. Yeah, with a hot, hot pan in the oven. The last thing I want to do, I want to do um, a little bit of an egg wash on it. Yeah, basically. Pump it up a little bit, yeah. Are you going to put some garlic in it, too? Like you garlic? garlic in it? Well, yeah, never mind garlic. <laughs> But uh, you don't have to, I guess. I could bet that Maybe a little garlic powder, even just simple, simple garlic powder. I'll get it out of my handy dandy. Oh, Amazon! What? <laughs> so where is it? Garlic powder. Garlic. Garlic. They're in alphabetical order because I know how you. Oh, it's upside down. Out. That's why. You know how you. So another powder. thing. Well, these actually you can put them on the fridge. Yeah, they're magnetic. They're magnetic, but. I don't know. I don't want to walk all the way over to my fridge to get them. So they have. I well, always do this wrong. Don't do. Don't don't. don't it's judge. in the middle. So in the middle. In no, the middle. there you go. No, no so it's right over there. So it used to be. So somebody used it recently. So I used it. Did it wrong. But you can do either a big pour, a big pour, or, a or just pour. a little pour. So. Yeah. I'm such a dork. Okay. Yeah, garlic and onion fixes everything. Salt, pepper, garlic, onion. Are you trying to say don't cook well? No, not at all. That's what makes the cooking good. Oh. The garlic, the onion, the salt, the pepper, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, would this go on while it's fresh or would it go on like towards the end or? No, I think it goes which... on now. Okay. Oh, you got a basting brush. I do. Yes, you do. This one I got from Ikea though. Yep. Bill can't take credit for that one. We did Ikea. So I'm going to put this over here. We're very lucky to have an Ikea by us. Yeah. We, we've always been pretty lucky. When we lived in Chicago, um, we lived up in Palatine for a while yeah. in the Schaumburg area and um, had all the stores that we ever wanted over there. So. Oh, Jen's husband is actually Yay! starting to want to do keto. I'll tell you what, it, it was a decision that took us a couple months to get into, and we were reading and watching, and of course you get the criticisms too, but I, I started to think to myself, I've been doing it for eight, nine years the way the doctors and the nutritionists and everybody else has said, if you've seen any of our videos, you've heard me say that more than once, what have I got to lose to try this for a little bit? Yep. And uh, oh my goodness, my blood pressure is down, my weight is down, obviously. 
um, you know, my A1C is down, my cholesterol is down, which I wasn't sure because you know you're all those you're numbers eating. are much better than they were the last time yes. I was there. That was uh, July, end of July. July, August, yep. Yeah, actually beginning of August we yeah. were there, so so much so that now I don't have to go back to the endo is what the doctor's saying. Right. So. Jen, that's horrible that your IKEA was infected with the measles. Oh. Oi. Lauren, um, our oldest daughter, uh, is at U of M this year. She's a freshman at U of M, and she lives in uh, Mojo, they call it. Um, and it's just a few weeks after she started school, she calls and says, Mom, have I had the shots for the measles and the chicken pox? <laughs> and I was like, uh, There was something else, why? too, like mumps, mumps or something. Yeah, yeah. Something. So her dorm had the mumps, measles, and the chicken pox, hmm. and then a couple of the other dorms had one or the other. Um, but uh, well, you yeah. figure those dorms are like Lord help us a convergence of multinational, you know, like people from all different nations and all different states and all different backgrounds. So you're gonna get a mixture of things. Yes. So now we're putting that back in 375, 380, something like that. Yes, 380. How long? Uh, it's it's saying for yes. Still want to burn them. <laughs> You'd still eat it. I'd probably still eat let's it. Let's see, what is it for? Um, 15 to 20 minutes. So let's start at 15 minutes. Yeah, we'll check it at 15. And turn the oven light on and we can peek in there at it. Yep. So, um, yeah, so oh. that was a little bit of a disaster. I was hoping um, we weren't going to have an issue with that. I had to go when Lauren went to kindergarten. I went and got a chicken pox shot again because I've never had the chicken pox, the measles, the mumps. I haven't had any of that. So yeah, I yeah. run like the hills when I see that happening. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody's got it. I go to the other side of the, yep. the store. <laughs> Get away from me. So, so when um, we've been doing our updates, we're what, 10 weeks now? 10 weeks, um, yeah, we just finished 10 weeks. We're yeah, week we, 11 now. We first started out, we were kind of curious where we were at. We were trying to use the urine strips to tell if we were into ketosis or how far we were into ketosis. And uh, immediately people were like, well, you know, don't, don't count on those strips. They're not very accurate, this, that, and the other. So as we were watching, because we watch a lot of videos, um, we saw a couple people with the Keto Mojo uh, meter. Um, the brand of Keto Mojo, and they, they have glucose strips for diabetics like me, and then they also have the ketone strips. Well, um, I had written to them, and I was asking some questions and told them what we were doing, gave them our channel name and everything, and they said, hey, Bill and Stace, would you like a meter? Well, of course we would, but it's upside down. But, would you like a meter? And we said, uh-huh, yes. So then they sent us some glucose strips and some ketone strips. So... Um, we are going to check this out, I think on Saturday probably. I have to read all the directions, figure out how to work everything and make sure I, <laughs> I don't know, there's probably some calibrations or something, I don't know. But, I hate uh, getting shots and pokes. So now we are going to uh, check that out on Saturday and maybe even test it live Saturday morning. Just see what our ketones reading is, I don't know. Jennifer, the strips, um, they do okay. They're a little hard to gauge, though. Um, they're not super accurate, I don't think. The color sometimes is just like, okay, what color? It's almost like those pregnancy tests where it's like partially <laughs> there, the line is there. <laughs> the line is faint, so am I pregnant? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they're, it's all based on a color code. First of all, I'm colorblind, but I could tell <laughs> shade. You know, I could tell the darkness or right. the lightness. And uh, every time I've done one, I've kind of felt, even after a 40 hour fast one week, I did uh, the test and uh, yeah, I couldn't tell what was, what it, where it was supposed to be on the chart, but this will give you a, you know, a digital 0.6 or 2.5 right. or whatever. So that's going to be kind of interesting to, um, to check out. Yeah. So Jennifer, if we do, if we remember, because I think I have to work Saturday, Saturday's going to be a busy day for me. Um, we'll remember to do the strips. Oh yeah, uh, the ketone maybe strips, we and then we can we can kind of compare yeah. to see where we're at with those. Uh, maybe we can gauge where the color is versus the accurate, hopefully more accurate digital, right. and then we can kind of say for comparison, <laughs> we still have the strips. So yeah, yeah. Man, so we stopped using them after about like the third or fourth week, maybe fourth or fifth week, because yeah. so many people said, well, don't rely on those strips because they're not real accurate. So, oh, you know what? Hang on, I'll be back. Uh oh, she's going somewhere. 
So yeah, we got snowed in here today in Michigan, uh, 4 a.m. We got a, a text and an email from the schools saying that the kids were called off. So Julia stayed home today. And then uh, Stacy did have to go to the doctor this morning. So she was uh, off on to the doctors. I don't know where she went, she disappeared. But uh, so yeah, that went really well. Oh, looky. Look what I got. Look what Stacy got. So Why did you get those? Somebody must to... love you. Yeah, we went to the RV show. Did you get a shirt too? I did get a shirt, but I'm not going to change my shirt. I don't know no, you don't have to wear the shirt. I just <laughs> so I got a shirt. Um, this is it says full of five hundreds. Went up to five hundred thousand dollars. Hey, it does say five hundred thousand. <laughs> um, we got a handy dandy little Michigan lottery scratcher thing. Um, and they gave you a shirt. And it's then I got a shirt, a Michigan, Michigan lottery Michigan. shirt, which was pretty cool. So, um, so next scratcher video, are you going to do those here now? I don't know, I can. <laughs> okay, I was going to say, wear your little oh, new shirt. Yeah, Not for now, those, but, yeah. you know. Yeah, so, but that'll be the next video that'll come out. Um, so we got three of them. Just figured you have 15 uh, chances to win per card. Cool, so we'll and see. it's a new ticket. You've never even done that Yeah, before. it's a brand new ticket for us, so that should be pretty fun. Yeah, So and you got a brand new shirt to wear with it. I do. Cool. Jennifer, you got two feet of snow. Where are you in? Where are you at? Cabin fever's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had somebody call me the other day. Um, we had another snow day. Imagine that. Yeah, um, and I was at work um, doing reservations for the campgrounds. And we had a call. And it says, I need to cancel my reservation for tomorrow. And I'm thinking, Tomorrow. dear Lord, you're camping in Michigan in February. They were in a cabin, but oh, okay. still, that's... Well, they got heat and everything, no, too. Well, not heat, heat. They just have, like, the wood... Oh, rustic cabin, not It's a modern. rustic cabin, yeah. Because the, the modern ones do have heat. Right, yeah, no, not the rustic ones. We have bathrooms <laughs> and heat and light and electricity. The rustic ones, you go out to the vault toilet, and yep. I was like, yeah, that's not happening. That's a little too rustic for me. <laughs> It's been a little bit great. Yeah, so we were at the RV show. We were just looking at pop-ups and little trailers and stuff. And surprisingly, they had like, it would look like a food truck, but it was the Michigan lottery truck. And of course, that was right up Stacy's alley. So she went over and checked it out. And they were selling tickets. So got some tickets. And so of course, we had to buy some. Told her, you know, I got a free t-shirt. Said, hey, she's got a, a YouTube channel and does the thing. So she's just handed Stacy a little extra stuff. And you can yeah. some scratcher things and, you know, that kind of stuff. It was fun. A little fun. All right, so we got about eight minutes left on the first 15. Oh, um, the other thing we were going to do, uh, today ended up being a day where we actually had some free time for... So I cleaned. So we did some cleaning, and obviously this, we're trying to live stream. Uh, but we're, we're going to do a day in the life of what we eat with keto. So, yeah. um, you know, we'll It's go very rare. I pictures. actually have... Today and tomorrow off from both of my jobs. Wasn't planned Crazy. that way. It just happened. Um, we were supposed to go get massages today. I need I do, to go. One of the jobs that I do is uh, web design. So I do a, a website for a massage parlor in exchange Don't for... Don't say massage parlor. Well, yeah, not a massage parlor. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll pass that. <laughs> it's a massage, massage therapist. therapist. And uh, they give Stacy 12 <laughs> massages a year. Normally, we don't even use them. Uh, we're kind of far away. We're about an hour away. But uh, we, we both lately have been a little crazy. We thought, you know, let's just go use two of them. Right. And uh, we were going to run in and do it. And we got, like, obviously the kids got called off. The roads yeah, are like nothing. Four o'clock this morning. The roads are nothing but ice and really horrible out. So, uh, yeah, we didn't make it. So That was a bummer. I don't know. Are we rescheduled or not? No, but I'm going to be rescheduled. Try to reschedule. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck on finding that. Oh, don't try those. They, they're yucky. Oh, the wisps. Yeah, Parmesan wisps. Have you guys had those? Grab those down. Uh, Costco sells these things. They're almost like little chips, and they say Parmesan wisps. They sell Parmesan. like hotcakes. Yeah, Parmesan cheese wisp. But, uh, I think you should try one on camera, Bill. Oh, I'll try one. They're not good. <laughs> You know what I thought it might be good as? A crouton in the salad. They're Give so the cute. They look like they would be good, but they're so dry. Mm -hmm. Lady says, oh, they're really good with wine. I'm like, well, I don't drink wine, so. Yeah, it's still just as bad. <laughs> I like Parmesan cheese, too, so I figure. I love Parmesan cheese, but it's so not good. It's a little salty, too. 
hit salty. I think the other reason they're still here is because it's ten bucks for a bag. I know it's killing me, but we well, still you know, have... you can you could always take it back to Costco. They'll take anything back. I'm not taking it back to Costco. Ah, Costco's. Jen, I'll be doing reservations uh, for the state campgrounds in Washington State soon. We're supposed to be training, uh, I think, this week or next week for that. So I'll do Michigan and Washington. Hey, could you, where the eggs are in the fridge, get me my little half bottle of Propel? Because I have a really nasty Parmesan wisp taste in my mouth. It's kind of gross. Sure. I will give you the Propel. Thank you. Yeah, Same. so, I don't know, do you guys eat these? Do you like them? Oh, I'm no. not a fan. No, no, no. <laughs> they are not good. Right. What was the other thing that we tried that was, oh, pork rinds. Everybody oh, talks about pork rinds. Those are They're horrible. awesome. You can make, like, shake and bake out of them for chicken, and I love chicken. So, we got regular pork rinds. That was not good. And then I thought, well, let's try the barbecue pork rinds because there's probably some flavor to it. Still not good. They're horrible. Maybe it was the brand. I'm not sure, but pork rinds are not for me. No. Never had one in my life and not good. Yeah, Jennifer, I know that they'll take them back at Costco, but I feel bad because yes, they work there. Because she works there, so she's like embarrassed to take them back. Well, sometimes the things that we see people bringing back, you're like, really? Mm -hmm. I saw... That couch is 17 share. years old. <laughs> I saw a couch that came back, and I don't even know when they bought it. That couch was destroyed. But for it any reason, disgusting. if you're not happy with it, they'll take it back. It's crazy. I, ugh, I can't even believe it. But it's, it's amazing that uh, what people will bring back. And you're like, yesterday, I'm at the door because um, I never know what I'm going to do. So I was the greeter at the door. And uh, this lady says, I have a return. And you know the big bags of frozen chicken? The big bags, probably yeah, yeah. about the size of this. 15, 20 bucks. She brings it back and there's like... Three left. Like this many left. Like three, maybe four. I'm like, are you kidding me? So she probably fed her whole family. I didn't like them. And then brought them back. I'm like, okay. <laughs> they took them back, unfortunately. It is snowing pretty It's pretty snowing like a there. mofo. Boy. It is crazy snow. I don't know. Can they see it in the... Maybe through the kitchen window. You may, oh, my neighbor. Jim's home. Jim's home. <laughs> you can see it a little bit in the kitchen window if you look really well, but uh, pretty big flakes coming out. Love that stained glass. Yeah, that's my sunflower. Sunflower. Because forever in a day, my nickname has been Sunshine. Yep. And it's it's always been that way. And, it's always um, been that way. Even people that don't know me, one of my bosses the other day, she goes, Hey, Sunshine. And I was like... How'd you know that? How'd you know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, did you watch my videos or? Um, but so it's always been Sunshine Stace and Forever and Day. So we have a really good close friend. Her name is Doc, Dr. Val, we call her. Um, her dad does the stained glass and um, love it. It's one of my favorites. So it's been there since we moved into this house. Yep. Aww. And it works. It does. It does. I'm going to try something. Yeah, Jennifer definitely was um, abusing the system. I was floored that she brought those back in. But, you know, I, I, they gave her a refund because she walked out happy. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was trying to see if I could get the uh, focus to change on the phone. Because it looks so pixely, but I don't know if that's just because it's live stream or oh, maybe because it's my laptop. or. Gotcha. I don't know. Use the iPhone, so it's got a good resolution, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Doesn't it feel like it's forever when you're waiting for something? Two you minutes. Don't eat it? Yeah. You do like the chips, keto sister? I, I, uh, oh, I don't wisps. Know. Yeah. Uh. I just can't. I was trying to think. Try. I was trying to think what could I put. What do you like, do with them? You just eat like them. Like a dip with it, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Do you eat them with a dip? Do you eat them just by themselves? Do you crumble them and make them into like a coating for probably like a chicken or something? I would imagine might be okay. <laughs> but I don't think I want to try that. I don't want to waste a piece of chicken. <laughs> it's <laughs> not good. It just doesn't yeah. work. <laughs> oh goodness, that's so bad. Oh, I put that in there. I can't even see. Well, just give it a little peek. No time. You don't have to give it a little bit. Did we base the top? Yes, you already did that. Yes, I did. 
Okay. Yes, I did. I was just curious. Yeah. So, um, oh, soups, yeah, well, and cheese, it was soups. Okay. Maybe yeah, there's soup. Like, yeah, that might not be so bad. I want a broccoli cheddar. Yes, yeah, so I saw a uh, recipe for a broccoli cheddar, so we need to try that. Yeah. Maybe we'll try a wisp in it. <laughs> But it's so for a like a cracker. So it'll like take the place of a saltine, maybe. Never, but you know. <laughs> maybe. 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 Yeah, it's, um, I don't know. I just, I can't. We're getting creative on some of the things that we miss. Like I used to love Schwann's. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Schwann's. They're home delivery food stuff. We didn't get very much from them, but they had a thing called the bagel dog, wrap bagel mm -hmm. dog like this. So I've been bugging Stace for a while on this one. She's like, you know, today I'm home. Let's just. Let's give it a try. Yeah. So this is a, a total experiment. So it may fail. Now, what soups do you guys use? Because I've I've been to the store and every time I look at a label, I'm like, oh no, and I put it down <laughs> because the carbs are high or the sugar yeah. is high. So I haven't maybe that broccoli cream cheese, you know, because it's a cheese based yeah. broccoli. Oh, that sounds so. That good. sounds like it might be a winner. Yeah. But uh, every. Like soup, that, or, or I miss chili. I like chili a lot, but I want chili and crackers, and that's not going <laughs> to happen. So, no. I just got to find a substitute. <laughs> I don't know that there's a substitute for crackers. Yeah, broccoli and cheddar. We, we're going to have to look that one up and try it. Jennifer, do you have a recipe for your broccoli cheddar, or do you um, just buy those? Now it's time to peek, right? Oh, they, they smell good. All right, I'm gonna do another five minutes on here. Okay. So it says keto, keto zupa toscana. What's that? I don't know. What's in it? <laughs> it sounds exotic though. Hamburger <laughs> queso. Yeah, you're talking to the hamburger helper guy. I used to make hamburger helper all the time. Yes, you did. That's a totally different animal, I'm sure. Okay, I'll have to check that one out, Jennifer. Um, I'm always looking, I'm such a basic eater. Um, the doctor asked me today, she goes, do you eat red meat? And I was like, very little, uh, a little bit of ground beef or a taco and sometimes a hamburger. She's like, that's it. And I'm like, yep. She goes, what else do you eat? I said, chicken, chicken, <laughs> bone, skinless chicken. And she's like, okay, that's it. And I'm eggs. like, pretty much eggs and bacon. you know, eggs. bacon. Who doesn't want bacon? What's your favorite vegetable? Um, I don't know. See, I'm, I'm I like a, broccoli. I'm a crunchy girl. I, I like broccoli. I like oh, cauliflower. Like cauliflower all those kinds I of like yeah. love green pepper. Um, cucumber. Cucumbers. Um, green carrots. Pepper, yeah. um, I love all that, but I don't like any of it cooked. <laughs> it's all got to be hard and crunchy. I, I like the crunchy of it. It's the it's a consistency issue for me, and it's. It's frustrating, but I, I, I've tried the, the avocado, and I don't know if anybody saw the avocado video. Uh, all right, now, John, um, first talking, you can make uh, crackers out of fathead dough. So oh. maybe we need to make some little square crackers. I would try that. Oh, Why not? Use yeah. the docker, use the little pizza docker, yeah. and uh, flatten them down, and they'll cook flat. And, uh, oh, I didn't think about that. Maybe even on your rolling pin, use the sizer that's a little thinner versus the one we use thicker. You know? Oh my god. Keto Home said that so many things in one. <laughs> Did you read the See, that, that looks like something I would eat. No, we'll totally eat that. <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, let's throw Lauren, some Lauren, our oldest daughter, would totally eat yep. that. I'm that person that the dividers. Here, let me show you what Bill bought for me. Because <laughs> I was going to buy our school lunch tray. Because <laughs> it has the dividers in it, like when we went to school. Put your milk in here, put your this in there. But I, I got her these little snappable lunch things, and then it's good. But that's good for like, you but know, it's in the so, so if you want cheese and salami, yeah. and then a salad underneath or something, I don't know. One year he bought me the actual divider plate, mm -hmm. trying to be funny. I wow. was so excited that I got it, and he's like, you really like it? I said, I love it. Yep. Because then my food didn't touch. Yep. 30 years he's put up with me. God bless okay. him. <laughs> Hey, we, we all got our quirks. She puts up with me too, so. Uh, but that, yeah, that's, um. Yeah, it would be dehydrated oh. and it would become crunchy. So maybe. That's uh, what I kind of missed. Maybe uh, the air fryer type of thing, you know, the, the, well, not the air fryer, but like the Ninja, the, the Ninja Foodie does dehydration too.
Okay. Uh, so you could like lay them in there and then dehydrate. It would be a long process, but or find a simpler way to dehydrate, probably in the oven or something. I don't know. Hey, Patty, welcome. We have cooked more in the last what three months than we have in the last three years, literally. We had to buy so many things. Bill did most of the cooking beforehand. Yeah, but simple um, cooking, like yeah, simple cooking. Yeah, simple. Yeah, I didn't make spaghetti sauce. I just bought a can of ragu and then I made the noodles and yeah, we cooked together. Yeah, but when I came home from work, it was ready. It and was I could ready. just sit down and eat. So. Yeah, and you know, you could say I miss garlic bread, but you can make fat head dough and put garlic on right. it, and that's pretty darn close. That's one thing I saw a recipe for garlic, um, garlic cheesy bread. I still taste those wisps. <laughs> yes, They're not the wisps. Good. Not a fan, and I keep trying them too, like a dummy. Like it's going to taste different. No, Keto Home said, um, I have not. Actually, I just bought some, is it Rayos? Right, Rayos. Right, Rayos, Rayos, The um, marinara sauce. This so patty. I will have to try that because, uh, you know, as long as it's not too hard. I, but I do follow directions well. Not yeah. like Bill, I can't, well, you saw what he did. I don't know if I caught it. He was doing the olive oil in my hands, and of course, he goes to the extreme. Because that's the fun part, <laughs> just seeing you with olive oil all over you. That was gross. That was gross. Yeah, so yes, Rails uh, is expensive. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I think we're paying somewhere between 5 to 7 to $8 a I'm jar. I'm really disappointed at Costco because they stopped carrying it. Um, we had the big jar for it was larger and it was a $7, little, I think. Yeah, it was um, comparable to the price of Kroger, but right. much larger. So... And we, we actually found a meatball at Costco that we like. It was pretty relatively good. Oh, is it looking good? Uh huh. Oh, bonus. And uh, it, had, it ended up being one carb per meatball, which which was acceptable if you're gonna have four or five, you know, in a day, as, as long as you're playing in it. And then we matched that with the Rayos. Uh, I think marinara is what we used. And, yeah. And that was the closest thing to spaghetti that we've had in a long time. And then, of course, you've got the zucchini squash, that you, or zucchini that you can spiralize and maybe make a noodle out of. Um, I'd rather not have a noodle than have that. I don't know. That sounds... Bill's... If I, he tried I, it. I'll try it all. It. I like it when you cook, because then I get to try it all. Why don't you give me a fork? Sure. Oh, these look really good. Oh, good. There's a fork. Oh, they do look good. I don't know if that's going to be viewable, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That oh, really the other one is, this one is Julia's. Oh, yeah, little one. Yeah, the little one. That looks really good, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> so. Wow. So now. Can you guys see that? Well, yeah, you can use the camera here. Let's see. There's a delay, so it's going to take like five seconds for it to show up. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta go higher. Are you higher? I don't know. I'm watching the camera and it's like five seconds behind. There we go. They do look really good though. Now, they're super hot, so we want to burn my mouth and try one. I want to try it from this side though because this has the breading on it. Okay. Like cutting it there is going to give you just a polish. These were uh, Teton, Teton Water Ranch brand. Polish from Costco, mm -hmm. and they had no carbs and no sugar. So I was very excited. Is that too big of a bite for you? No, no. <laughs> that hurt too big of a bite. You're going to burn your mouth. Yes, I am going to burn my mouth. I just want to taste the crust of it. Oh, that's pretty good. Is it? Here, try the. This won't burn your mouth. Aw, you blew it. Try that. That's, that's actually really good. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty good. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> that's good, you guys. That's very good. Hey, well, and, you're uh, it's, it's quite yummy. Let me see your fork. He always takes a fork from me, so. Yep. Although, when we did the, um, what was it, the mozzarella cheese sticks? Yes. Um, no, it was the drinks that I didn't want him to give him my drinks. I didn't want him to like. Oh. <laughs> the drink that I had, so I kept putting it to the side. Yeah. That was um, the noon. The you like to like yeah. drinks. And you didn't want me to try yours. 
That's really good, you guys. Mm. Yeah, that was that was really um, way better tasting than I thought. Way better. That actually almost tastes like like a real bread. Jenny had not tried the low carb noodles in the water. Um, I'm not familiar with what they are because I guess for me, Maybe I'm used to what I'm used to, so I'd rather just not have it. If there's a link or something, put it in the comments below. Yeah. We'll check it out. We'll try it. I mean, heck, we're always looking on YouTube or just on Google for different ideas. We probably looked up five or six different uh, bagel dogs, mummy dogs, wrap dogs, you know, before mm -hmm. we, and then even with what she did here, was that directly off of a recipe? Or was that kind of still another hybrid, just a little hybrid, yeah. Things that you wanted to throw in there. So we'll we'll type that out and put it in the description once mm -hmm. the live stream is over as to what exactly you used because I want record of it because I want it again. Right. Hey, am I spokes? How are you? I'm K spokes. Excuse me. All right. Oh, to put the picture where your J is. That actually happens through Google itself. If yeah. you were to um, go to your channel up in the right corner and click on um, your name, uh, and then it would say like where your little round thing is, I believe, let me try because I'm sitting right here. Uh, <laughs> you would look for, uh, you would click my channel after you clicked your name, and then there's a thing that says customize channel and then when you click customize channel, you'll see in the top left corner, you'll see your picture. And there's like a little pencil. You can click the edit pencil, and it'll tell you that you're gonna change your icon. And then you click edit, and then it takes you to a page that's Google. It says Google about me. And then you can upload a photo there, or choose a different photo to change your, your stuff around from that aspect. But that's how you would change the J to whatever image you wanted. Yeah. Let me try and go back to our chat now. <laughs> our little YouTube thing. Aw, thanks, Cindy. Where so she liked her name changed. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I was messing around. I didn't realize. <laughs> it's a good thing I wasn't feeling silly that day because you can only change your name within 90 days. You can only change your name three times on YouTube. And I found that out um, by accident because I was just playing. I was going to put something really silly up for Stacy to see when she got home and say take that down and I'm glad I didn't because <laughs> that's just the way I am. <laughs> so you never know what's gonna come out of his mouth. Yes, you never know. Gosh, that was really good. It's, I would like some. It is actually really but good. I'm lucky that I'm, I to do it this yeah, way. I am such a picky eater. He's like, you're not even gonna eat this with me, are you? I said, what? <laughs> that's what I said too. I said you're gonna make it and I appreciate it, but you're not even gonna eat it, are you? So Well I'm picky too on if I eat a hot dog, like I like the Hebrew National hot dogs, um, I like the, Those are good. The, the like the bite of it. It's not his favorite. He likes more of a Polish. Um, we got these. What is this again? The this is Teton Water Valley Ranch from Costco Polish sausage. Here, yeah. And they were there. Um, the reason I picked those is that they were um, uh, no carb and no sugar. Um, so that was huge. There you go, if you guys can see yeah, that. Yeah, it's a very plain cardboard looking wrapper. We found it like by their cheeses and their, wasn't by hot dogs yeah. and stuff. This was over by their cheeses. It's grass fed um, beef, no hormones, no antibiotics. Teton water raised, right? Yeah. 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 Cooked Look. uncured polo sausage. Now I don't normally like polo sausage. But Teton water it's raised actually, polo sausages are pretty It's very flavorful. flavorful. And, and I'm, did I get it right that there was no carbohydrate? Uh, let's see. So one link ends up being uh, less than a gram of carbohydrate and zero sugars, 11 proteins, uh, 17 fats. Really, really good for the macro chart. If you're always, we're always short on our fats is where we're always short. And then, yeah. of course, I try to stay way under on carbs because of uh, the diabetic situation. I don't want to even mess with that. Hey, but, let's uh, talk keto. Welcome. And thanks for liking the glasses. We try not to wear them when we do our updates because, like if you saw on oh, Saturday, the reflections really I didn't get bad. a chance to, it was just a, a rush day, I worked both jobs that on ring Saturday. Light? Yeah, the so you could see the ring and I was trying to stay still, but of course you know me, I can never stay still. I'm always on the go and antsy, talk with my hands. Um, These so, are awesome though. Costco. Yeah, pretty good. You I know what we should do? Stacy works at Costco. We should do a Costco haul. Yep. 
I like watching all those. <clears throat> the halls. I like watching the, yeah. all the halls and the even the Walmart halls. Like, what do you buy for keto at Walmart? And then right. they go through and buy <laughs> cheese and all the basics. But yeah, it's pretty good though. I'm 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 pretty um, I'm pretty happy with this turnout. I think we'll make these. And it's actually it was pretty pretty simple. Um, so I definitely yeah. think that we'll um, make this again. Yeah, this. what was it in again? I mean, obviously I'll go back watch it. And then this I'll was it um, was it almond flour? Um, a, a cup and a half of the mozzarella cheese. Um, two tablespoons of cream cheese, an egg, three fourths cup of the almond um, almond flour, and then a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. Um, so that was flattened very it, quick. It. Yep, flattened cut it, cooked it. it. Oh no, no, flattened it, cut it, wrapped it, wrapped it, it and then cooked it. it. Um, oh, you basted it too with egg I, and garlic. I basted it with egg and garlic um, on the top because it kind of kind of gives it a little bit of a. It's, we probably could have done it a little bit longer for a little bit crispier. Two more minutes or something. Um, yeah. they're, but they're still, they're not wet, but mm -hmm. they're not crunchy either. You know, like I don't want it to be overcooked and then it'll be like. Right. So, no, that works for me. That works real well. I'm going to be eating that after we're done. Kind of like with the mozzarella cheese sticks. Those were gone in a snap. Yep. Oh, yeah. I don't even think that video lasted like. Four minutes after the mm -hmm. thing was done, you know, between Stacy, I, and Julia, the, all the little cheese sticks that we had made in the pan were, <laughs> were gone. They were all gone. <laughs> we used the marinara sauce from Rails um, yep. on that. Really good. We do everything we can to, to use every drop of the Rails. Even if we do like the meatballs we talked about that were mm -hmm. one carb each, we'll put four or five in a container, pour some of the red sauce in it, put a lid on it, put it in the freezer. So we use that whole jar while it's fresh and yeah. it's all like ready to pull and use again. That's what I take to work. Because, because of the cost. It's I mean, it's, yeah. you know, it's not like a $2 thing of ragu, it's, but ragu is full of sugar and stuff. So right. we're trying to Let's talk that. keto. I know my mom says that all the time. Uh, my mom lives in, she's in um, Amherstburg. Amherstburg now. Um, and so whenever I go over, she makes case, I need you to bring me this, 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 and this. Yes, so, yes. We're always having to get the weirdest things. Although Velveeta they had, cheese. Yeah. Well, I don't know why, but she always wants us to bring and Velveeta. Campbell's uh, pork and bean. Well, some of it's because of the price. They do have some of the things that are the same in Canada as they do here, but the price is like so much more over there. Like Dearborn Spiral Ham. When it's like Thanksgiving and we're going over and she wants ham, she tells us to get it because right. it'd be like 50 bucks, but there it'll be like 110. Yeah. Even with the conversion, it's just way more money. Yeah, so, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, certainly... Um, does that help having the iPad up here so you can see your... It does, so I can kind of see who, who's in here chatting. Um, cool. You know, kind of informal, obviously, first live chat. Yeah, we just figured we'd throw some stuff together, see if... I, we didn't even know this was going to turn out or what it was going to do. Or if anybody would show up, so did thank you, you guys. Off? No, I did not. turned it off now. But yeah, these turned out wonderful. I, this one, it sounds so look, silly. There's a piece left. This one looks really good. Look at it. They do look really good. <laughs> you know, if we were smart, we'd actually like plate them and take a nice picture and make all these fancy things. But no, we're just going to eat them. We'll just eat them. <laughs> yep. We'll make them again. <laughs> yeah, Cindy, they're actually really good. Um, and it's it's very similar to the fat uh, fathead dough um, that I make uh, when we do the fathead pizza. So super simple. Um, and it's nice to have, I don't like just a hot dog. Oh, um, somebody's here too. Yeah. Um, I don't like just the hot dog, so this I figured I would try. And we're actually eating a Polish, not a hot dog. Um, yeah, but it's, I like it's Polish. it's pretty good. Bread. So, because I haven't, uh, I miss bread. I'm not going to lie. I think the only bread I miss would be like a hamburger bun. Yeah. I, I don't miss like making toast or something, but but I do I miss, miss toast and scrambled eggs. You know, you know what I kind of miss, and I've tried cauliflower and stuff, but um, is uh, just fried rice. So oh, yeah. um, I do like my fried rice, and I miss that. Like Benny kind of fried rice. Now the garlic butter is okay for us, but the rice obviously. Right. Right. So. Kind of just make vegetables, do zucchini and onion, maybe a little onion because onion is kind of high too. I and Kate, that. Bill actually cooks for me quite a bit, and I will tell you, we've been together 30 years, married 25 years in June, and um, he's actually done probably 80% of the cooking in our marriage, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah. 
Well, so. we have a kind of a weird reversal of roles. I work from home, I do shirts, I do web design, I do body art with the, the temporary yeah, airbrush, um, and I fix computers, and I data recovery. So I do a lot of things, but I'm homebody, and uh, and I've always taken care of the kids and got them, you know, to and from school and fed them, and did, did, did the, uh, you know, I do laundry, dishes, and right. cleaning and stuff too. But uh, everybody traditionally, like if a woman does that, they like pat her on the back and, oh, you're great. When they do that with me, they're like, well, where do you work? And I'm like, well, it's kind of weird. You know, this is how it works. And they kind of like immediately dismiss me. It's, it's, the, it's the stupidest thing. Because, it's frustrating. Because if a woman's role is to do that and to like wear five hats like that. He used to get a lot. Know? Oh, it's so nice that you're watching the kids for your, for your wife. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I'm not watching my kids. I'm taking care of my kids. Yeah. And so. they're mine, too. So... Yeah, um, but on the flip nice side to too, when I would work, when I was pregnant with Lauren, who was our oldest, um, and when I went back to work, and they said, "Oh, you didn't stay home," I said, "No, I said it. Like, you must not love your baby." I'm like, "Well, my baby's being raised by his dad, you know." So her dad, I'm like, yeah, all "So well. I don't get it, you know?" <laughs> yeah, sometimes society is weird. It is some of the judgments that you get out there, and you just kind of like shake your head, and you're like, "Wait, someone's got to raise my kid. Um, daycare is not going to do it all the time." Right. I mean, we even looked into that because I was working uh, retail at the time. I was big and tall, casual male. Imagine that, big guy. Right. But um, yeah, by the time I would pay for the clothing I wore, the food, the cat, the, the car, the, it didn't make sense. It didn't make any sense. And then, like the second she was sick, she couldn't be at a daycare. Right. They wanted to come get her. And, and days my box like was today in that. here in Michigan, with all the call four a.m. calls saying sorry, yep, no school had, today. I think we've had like four call-ups. Maybe yeah, more in the, last, two in the last week or two, but I'm here every day, so it doesn't matter to me. I mean, my kids always push that whole thing of like, "Hey, I want a cell phone," and I'm like, "No, you don't need one because Dad's here." <laughs> you get off the bus, you come in, and I'm right here. No right. little latchkey kids or punch the code or use the key and get in. No, nope, Dad's yeah. home. I'll make you some food, and That's we'll crazy. do whatever we need to do. <laughs> but, but yeah, thanks for coming out and hanging out with us. This turned out fantastic. I'm, I'm surprised and, and happy He's, for... You're surprised. Well, no. We never tried it, so... <laughs> never tried it. Sometimes things do, do not work, you know, do not work. Right, you're right. I was a little nervous. I'm like, should I be... At, but I didn't want to make something that I've already made. Sure. Um, we're already yeah. done a video That's on. That's good. So, um, <laughs> like, let's make fat and pizza. We already did a video on that, right. so... So I figured we'd do something different, and I'm glad it's... Um, and more than two people came in. Yeah, that so thank nice. you guys. I appreciate it. We weren't sure if anybody would come in. <laughs> uh, take care, Cindy. Uh, uh, thanks, MK folks. Yeah, I I'll keep him. He keeps me. Yeah. I always tell him I'm blind and I'm deaf because I wear hearing aids. What? Yeah. <laughs> so he's stuck with, with me. He can't, he can't trade me in. No, we all got our quirks. I got <laughs> plenty of them myself. I'm, I'm way OCD on a lot of things, and I do not like to get my hands dirty, and... I only even eat pizza with my hands. I use a fork and a knife, and that's how I eat my he pizza. Eats chicken on the bone with a fork. With a fork, because I poke it and then I chomp it off the fork. We're just know. we're just goofy. But you put up with me, so we do. All right, guys, I gotta get going. I have to go get my <coughs> not so little one from U of M. Yep. So I get home. to see her for the night and get her to the doctors in the morning. <coughs> so. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yes, definitely, thank you. I would recommend it. Um, it's a thumbs up, I think. The yeah. whole uh, yes, uh, yes, we're, we're making this again. <laughs> you can even he do says a, we, but you can even do me. an official video for it if you want. But uh, I, I will go through and type up what yeah. you put in, how you've done it in the description because Very I want nice it for and... us for right. our record <laughs> because I do want you to make it again. Right, right. Heck, this this seems simple enough. I could maybe even do it. You could maybe. You just follow the no, directions. I could, I could do it. I just he I just doesn't like to follow the directions. <laughs> That's all. All right, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you like the video, hit the like button and yeah, hit the little bell. Notify when we get a live stream or when we're going to put up another video. We are truly trying to get some more videos out. We've got you know the updates. I have things that I want to make. Um, I want to do the uh, for you guys the cheesy um, taco shells. Those were actually oh, really yeah, good yeah. because I love tacos. That's what I we tried. I a, a chip with it. 
Um, I didn't think like that was going to turn out. She had parchment paper and just put some cheese mm -hmm. on it. It was the simplest thing. And I'm like, yeah, how's that going to be a taco shell? And then she gave me a taco with the taco shell, and it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so I eat my words on that one. It was yeah, good. and I found a cheese bread. You see the theme here, bread. Um, All bread. But that's okay, because it's good for us. Um, yeah, as long as you stay in your carbs and stuff, they're cool. I never go over on my carbs. Nah. Well, with a cheese shell, there's well, nothing in yeah, that. So exactly. You might so. have one gram or something, to, depending on the cheese you use. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys. <laughs> take care. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. I'll go shut this off <laughs> if I can figure it out. That's pretty good. I think I'll eat some more. You eat some more. I will. Let's, let's watch you eat some more. Oh, look at Stacy's eating more. She's cutting it up. One of those rare moments she's actually eating. Yay! MK Spokes, thank you for stopping in. We'll see ya. All right, guys. <laughs> I have no idea how to shut this off. Me either. Are you sure you want to stop streaming? End.